The invasion of Ukraine is part of Vladimir Putin's push to restore Russia to its former glory. It's been his burning desire for decades, ever since the Soviet Union collapsed. So what else has shaped Vlad the invader? Putin is crafty, uh, mean and bloodthirsty. Vladimir Putin has ruled Russia with an iron fist for more than 20 years. Before that, he was a KGB operative and then mayor of his hometown in 1996. From there, he rose through the ranks of the Communist Party to become president in 2000. Putin turned out to be the perfect candidate for everyone, for the corrupt uh, Russian elites, for the um, upset secret uh, police uh, groups who were in, uh, who were colluding with mafia during the day and um, and, and and working for for, for the military uh, and and secret service during the night. Dr. Leonard Petrov is an expert of Russian politics and Putin at ANU. His methods of dealing with uh, people and situations is often mafia-like. That's why Putin is trying to undermine the law-based world order and turn it and replace it with the uh, law of the jungle. Last year, he had laws changed to allow him to serve as president until 2036. Putin can do anything just to achieve his goal, you know, and his goal is to stay in power, to stay in power indefinitely, as long as possible. Vladimir Putin was born in the city then known as Leningrad in 1952. His father was in the Navy, his mother a factory worker. He was married but now divorced and has two daughters and reportedly another to a mystery mistress. Vlad the Lad was keen on martial arts and the outdoors, passions he's maintained and exploited during his political career. Vlad promotes himself as an alpha male, hunting, fishing, and he's one hell of an ice hockey player. But are there soft touches in those iron fists? Putin has a soft spot for dogs, especially big dogs. Famously taking them to meetings with foreign leaders, particularly if they're scared of them. Putin tries always to, uh, if not intimidate, but at least upset and destabilize the, his counterparts. That would give him advantage, uh, competitive advantage, in future negotiations. That's what he learned from Stalin. Sit-downs with world leaders have often been frosty affairs, occasionally heated. I'm going to uh, shirt front, Mr. Putin. You bet I am. And what many don't understand is Putin is perhaps the world's richest man, with an estimated personal fortune of more than $200 billion. Many say it's all been accumulated by terrorising Russia's oligarchs. At the end of 2003, he decided to make his big move. And his big move was to arrest the richest man in Russia. Bill Broder is the American financier who worked in Russia and then exposed to the corruption in business and how Putin got his cut. He put him on trial and he allowed the television cameras to come into the courtroom to film the richest man in Russia on trial sitting in a cage. Now imagine you're the 17th richest man in Russia. You turn on your CNN and there you see a guy far, far richer, far smarter and far more powerful than you sitting in a cage. What's your natural reaction? Broder is the architect of the Magnitsky Law, where Western governments freeze the assets of Russian power brokers. Those laws are being used now. Sanctions um, is the wrong word. Simply, it should be blockade of Russia. It should be a very severe punishment. This would send a message which Putin understands. Now Vlad's at the epicenter of world politics, as he lays the groundwork for what he sees as his crowning legacy, to restore Russian honor, influence and power.
Putin wants to be remembered as the uh, strong man of the 20th century, uh, and now the uh, perhaps on the opposite, he's going to be remembered as Hitler of 21st century uh, outside of Russia. This is a chilling reminder of the world that we live in and where the threats and aggression of bullies and those who seek to intimidate others um, to seek their own advantage. Well, Donald Trump has a different view. And I said, this is genius. Putin declares a big portion of the Ukraine, of Ukraine. Putin declares it as independent. Oh, that's wonderful. I said, how smart is that? And he's going to go in and be a peacekeeper. Whatever the motivation and the strategies of Vladimir Putin, one thing is certain. We've now entered the most dangerous period in history since World War II. I'm afraid that until uh, Russia is liberated from Putin, Putinism will continue uh, you know, pervading uh, the mentality of the Russian people who would need years and if not decades of their Putinization after Putin is gone.